Plants, animals and youth. Uh, keep your emails, texts, tweets, messages come. Just put a picture up again. Actually, can compare and contrast a picture of me with the undertones in 1985 and one just now because it's time for six music liz kershaw's legend in your own lunchtime and let's welcome to the studio uh, they are normally joined at the hip but they're separated by the irish sea today because in the studio we have undertones guitarist mr damien o'neill hello liz and his brother far away in derry john o'neill can oh. you hear me, John? Yes, yes. Excellent. Well, that's where you live, so it was, I didn't really expect you to track you just yeah. for that. But thank you for joining us as well today. So congratulations, because this year, t uh, 2016, you are celebrating 40 years as a band. 40 years. Um, sh should we be celebrating that or should we be commiserating? <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <laughs> what do you think, John? Um, I didn't even know it was 40 years until today. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm glad I've organised this party for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, I know, I think it's worth celebrating because, I mean, you know, you've had your knocks and then you dusted yourselves down and started all over again and got a new lead singer and you've still got all your fans. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, no, I think, um, actually, you know what? Since we've reformed, it's actually, it's much better now these days because there's no pressure. You know, when we play live, yeah. there's nobody, you know, we'd have to, we just, you know, sit ourselves really and pick what shows we want to do. And and I think we're playing better than we ever did back in the day. It was just great. Yeah. And also, you have nothing. To, you don't have to prove yourself because no. people are coming not to discover you, but because they already love you and they want to, you know, hear those songs they love, don't they? Well, I think also, again, back then, I, well, I don't know about John, but I, think, I don't think we realised how, how good the songs were. Yeah, we didn't appreciate it. And it's taken all these years for us to, to sort that out, you know. To, yeah. yeah. Well, John, you were the main songwriter, so where did all that come from? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stealing other people's ideas, maybe. <laughs> no, I think it's one of the hardest things to write. Well, you've either got it or you haven't. It either comes naturally to you or you haven't a clue where to start, but you had that muse, didn't you? Well, I suppose we just, you know, and there, the, at that time we started, there weren't really any bands that were playing their own songs, so... It just seemed an, an, a, a good thing to try to write your own songs, and you know we, we didn't expect to become successful, but you know, just even like, to try to write your own songs seemed a, a good thing to do. And uh, you were you were like sixteen and seventeen, weren't you then? Yeah, yeah. Unless you shaved a few years off so that you're not as old as uh, you should was, be now. I was actually fourteen. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're the young, you're the whippersnapper. <laughs> yep. And which bands? Did you, I mean, did you get lots of bands coming to Derry? Could you see them live no. then? Because it was really, really not a nice yeah. time, was it? Nobody ever came. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, mid-70s might have the Bay City Rollers or something like that, but it's, um, no, you know, Belfast maybe, the occasional thing, but never in Derry. So we were mm. starved of live music. The first band I ever seen, actually, was Horse Lips, I think, in 1974. That was great. Yeah, there, there, were, there was a famous venue, though, though, isn't there? Uh, well, the only venue was yeah. St. Collins Hall, mm. actually. That's where we're at. I think Ian Jury played there in 1978. Um, but before that, hardly anybody played. So, John, where did you... Did you sort of take your... Big, you know, big cliche for people of our age. You, you went to bed and you took your, your radio and you listened to John Peel. Well, John. Well, if, uh, even before that, it was real Luxembourg, you know, yeah, in, in, in oh, the er, yeah. early seventies with the, yeah. all the, the glam rock. That, that was that was that time that really got, that I fell in love with music. Yeah, you know, obviously that glam rock period with T Rex, David Bowie, Roxy Music, and all that stuff was just just you know, one of the great times of singles records yeah. anyway. And that's probably where I fell in love with the idea of the, the, the single, you know, a seven inch single, the art form of that and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that, that in the first our first LP, basically, we, we, we idea was to make every song like a single. Well, you did, and, it, and they're all like those perfect two and a half minute, three minute pop songs. You, you're not one of those bands that you listen to and think, oh, we don't know how to end this song. <laughs> it's never, a, never a problem with us. <laughs> it's how to start it. Oh, in your wildest dreams, did you think? Because, you know, growing up there, really, really tough environment. And um, you know, going to school and everything. Did you ever think it being in a, a band had set you around the world? Certainly didn't. Um, we're kind of like accidental pop stars in a way. And obviously, it was because of we we were lucky with the timing because um, 
you know, the, the punk thing where you can make your own records. So yeah. we put a label, put a single out in Good Vibrations label, Teenage Kicks. So we got lucky there. And then, of course, John Peel picking it up. Do you remember, John, getting the call that you had to go to the Maidavale Studios and do a session, a Peel session, the first one? Do you remember it? Uh, well, yeah, well, but, uh, well, sort of, I suppose, if I'm honest. But uh, yeah, like, obviously it was just an honour to be... To be they could go there and, and do it, you know. We'd, we'd done a session previously that John Peel had actually paid for right, yeah. up in Belfast. But oh, the, yeah, the, you did it in the studio there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, downtown yeah. studios or something it was called, yeah. Yeah, John Peel actually paid for that of his own pocket, which was incredible, you know. But you never, I think you did about seven sessions altogether and you never did the song that really, really hit him between the ears <laughs> very hard. And, a le- you know, the legend is he had to pull over and sit there crying, <laughs> the sentimental old song, so on the road back home to Store Market. But you never did Teenage Kicks in a, in a no, session. No, I think we always wanted to just do something new, something different, you mm. know, move on or whatever. Probably because we, we, we didn't, you know, back in there we practised in Damien's bedroom. That's where we rehearsed and wrote the songs and... And we didn't, we didn't have a proper studio to practice in. So when we got the chance to do get a, do a recording and get paid for it at the same time, we just made use of taking, having a studio time to try out new songs. Mm. Well, we played When Saturday Comes earlier on from an early session. Well, it was a 1980 session. You were quite old mm. hands by then. Uh, but it took until... It's like this is your life. It took until <laughs> 1985 when a young girl whose <laughs> band had been asked to do a Peel session... Uh, Recording this song as well. Uh, uh, some bloke she knew, some wide boy in Leeds said, oh, I can get you two lads to play on this. And I couldn't believe it. Um, but you came along, you two, and you played on my Peel session, Don Chorus and the Blue Tits. And that's the only time you played Teenage Kicks in Maidenville Studios. Well, there you go, you were honoured. You were honoured, I was <laughs> so honoured. Right, well, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I've got special permission. I don't gain anything from this uh, because the band's long defunct, <laughs> but I think we should play this as a piece of history. This is John and Damien O'Neill of The Undertones playing their song on the BBC. <laughs> Damien. From the Derry jury. <laughs> Did that sound all right? Over there? Good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. You made that. I mean, those dirty, dirty guitars. 
that riff grinding away. I, I was so lucky that you did that. Thank <laughs> you. I didn't let you down, did I? I didn't ruin it. No, not at all. There's no. All good. right, thank you. Anyway, that's that. We that's how we got to know each other, and then, you know, you came back into our lives here at Six Music because I have to say this. You, you know, credit was credit to you. You really helped as well. When we were saving Six Music, you stepped up to the wicket, you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, and played at the celebration party. That's right. With, saved. I think, was it Doyle and the Forefathers? Yeah, they were, were they played with you. And, they, um, and we did the song that uh, we're going to appear in a minute. But... Um, what you did? What you did the rest of the time when you when because you're a dad? I saw you in like '86, John, pushing a pram through the streets of London. You're you're a family man and everything. You both are, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And and what else do you get up to besides making music? Well, me personally, yeah, I, I'm, John. Well, I'm I'm lucky that uh, because of the seals uh, the songs that I'm, I I don't have to to work. I haven't worked for about ten years. Oh, you're the Gary Kemp. Yeah. <laughs> the undertow, you get all the so you get far, all the song. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he looks after you, Damien. Oh, he will. He will. All oh, right. Will. Okay. Every so, now and again, he passes on a little bundle to me. <laughs> so you've got uh, you've got plans for the rest of the year. Well, John hasn't I, clearly because he didn't even know he was celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got planned then? Well, we got we we have a tour coming up actually in October, November, um, various weekends because we usually just play at weekends. Yeah, um, yeah, we're all around Britain basically. Okay, so England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. Yeah, well, actually, in Ireland we've already played Ireland this year, so we're just doing Westport Festival uh, on the first we're, we're, of October, I think. And then with Derry and the fourth. Oh of yeah, we got Derry of course. Fourth of November, yeah. Fourth of November, the big the big home. Hometown show. That'll be emotional, won't yeah, it? Yeah, it'll be a good laugh. OK. Uh, thank you so much for coming on today. Um, you, do, you you know, you, you are, are part of my life before I even met you. But uh, <laughs> thank you so much. And tell us about this, because Get Over You, apart from Teenage Kicks, is, is you know, my favourite. And you've done it all over again, or it's been remixed or something. It's What's been, the story well, here? Basically, it's been remixed by Kevin Shields, my bloody Valentine. Um, we're very honoured to have him. Basically, he's, I, I know him quite well, and I've worked with Kevin in the past. So um, he's a massive Undertones fan, and he, he luckily he agreed to, to remix it because... Well, you can tell the story there, John, because you weren't that happy with it, were you? I don't think any of us were that happy. No. I, I, have to, I think because Teenage Kicks originally wasn't really a hit, you know? So I, 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 when we went, when picked Get Over You as the next single, you know, desperate, we desperately wanted to have a hit. So I think we uh, in that in the process of making that record, we we sort of com- compromised a bit and made it a bit too commercial. We thought with the backing vocals and stuff. So mm. we really wanted to re- get a chance to remix it and make it sound the way it should have sounded. You know, if it had been the first single instead of the second one. So you're happy with this now? Yeah, yeah. This is more yeah. the way more the way we wanted it originally. Okay, right, can't wait to play it. And are you still writing songs, John? I'm still working on a few things, tr- trying to work on. I should say, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still, yeah. it doesn't get any easier. Yeah, no, we're all we're all in different projects. I'm in mm-hmm. a band called The Everlasting yeah. yeah, and John's work, currently working on other projects. So yeah, we're all still, di- you know, doing things. We, mind you, everybody keeps asking, are we ever going to do another Undertones record? Um, well, we don't know. <laughs> are we, John? <laughs> don't know. Have you currently have you currently got a lead singer? Yeah, Paul. Oh, is still Paul still oh, with Paul, you? Oh, Paul's... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, he's been with us 17 years yeah. now. Longer than Fergal. Oh, much longer yeah. than Fergal, yeah. OK, well, that's what I mean. You know, you had you, you got kicked in the stomach, but you just got up and carried on, Indeed. and that's the spirit. Indeed. Uh, thank you, both of you. John, over there, thanks a lot for joining me today. No problem, thank, thank you. you. And good luck with the tour and the new stuff. And, let, and yeah, make another Undertones <laughs> record. <laughs> Your brother, your brother wants to, don't you? <laughs> Thanks, Damien. Thanks, John. OK, thank you. Here we go. Get Over You, Kevin Shields remix. This is how it should have sounded back in 76, 77.
there. The walls in here, the roll speaker by by the way, and they were just like <laughs> wobbling in and out. So that is that's got loads of welly, definitely. more so than the first time. That's the way it should have been, really. Cause, Happy with that? Oh, definitely. Kevin did a great job there. You yeah. heard it for the first time up to 11 on BBC Speakers. <laughs> Wait, so is it available now? It's not available. I think it's next month. It's coming out next month. OK, don't forget it. And uh, we can hear it live on the tour coming up. Yep. Damien, thank you so much for You're coming welcome, in today. Liz. Congratulations on 40 years and still going, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, bye. This is your...